In the previous episode, we used a shield wall in a gang fight. We spent several days smithing, and we're now over 50% of the way to our goals. Only 40,000 dinars to go. Now, I don't remember. Did we fight? I think we did, actually. Yeah, he's getting chased. Is he? No, he's not. We'll be able to solo these guys. Yeah, I think we did. actually know we did fight these guys earlier. So these are these are a joke as well. Oh, look at the fog. Oh, man, you can't see anything. Oh, they can see them, apparently. They're all throwing their they're throwing weapons. Oh, there goes the throwing axe. Oh, not even close. I mean, to be fair, I would probably do that, too. <laughs> I suck with the throwing axes. All right, I didn't hear a single hit, so... Oh, okay. Just when I said that. So we busted a shield. Actually, let's get on foot. Alright, he came in. Oddly enough, was not using the polearm. So I'm a little confused why the polearm is not being used. Not not a terrible thing, though, because that horse, the horse damage is, is really good. But we took a pretty good hit there. All right, let's at least get rid of the archer. Pretty annoying. All right, here we go. Yeah, look at that. Bold over two people. Bold over one. Got stabbed. Oh, there is. There's the polearm in there. Yeah, let's take out that polearm. Oh, good one. Oh, follow up hit. All right, let's wait for somebody else to to charge in. All right, here comes someone. All right, there we go. We stopped him. All right, two hits. Oh, I was going to say two hits we can take out his, all of his posture. All right, we'll let these guys get their hits. Nope, swing and a miss. Ooh, man, that looks so brutal. That was like right in the back of the neck with its giant spiked mace. Two handed skill. Oh, no, actually, that's one handed. Why did we get one handed? We're not using a one handed. Interesting. All right, well, let's keep moving to Rezzy. Getting a pretty good price. We don't have that many prisoners. Yeah, four prisoners. We're getting 670 for them. And we're at 60k. So we're, we're closing in pretty quickly on, on the uh, goal that we had a, wanted to set out to achieve. So 100k before we can move on to the next chapter. And there is a tournament here. I'm kind of curious what they have. Ooh, a halberk. Yeah, we want we want chess pieces because we haven't gotten too many of those. I think maybe two. 70 armor is really good. Looks pretty solid for the other stats too. Tier 4. It's a tier 4, so we're not really getting good uh, value for, for our bets. Let's see if we can hit this guy. we got to aim really high. Nope, we didn't even aim high enough. I thought that was too high, but... <laughs> you gotta lob these things. Oh, it, it, it hit him in the neck and it just bounced off. That was pretty funny. Not too bad. All right, you know what we'll do? Let's let this guy get in there. And we'll throw it at him from pretty, pretty close range. <laughs> Three damage. Oh, we missed. Five damage. Almost nothing. Yeah, our, our throwing skill is really small. It's, it's in the tens, I think, so not really surprised it did no damage. Oh, you lost your shield. He's almost down. Nice. That was a good battle, though. He, he had some good blocks. He wasn't really giving me much. 
Oh, we caught that with our shield somehow. I'm gonna try and take this guy's shield out. No? I guess we don't do any damage at all. I mean, we were doing three damage to their armor, so I imagine the shield probably does almost nothing. All right, quit hitting us with our own javelins, man. <laughs> it's like clipping through us. That'd be a pretty nasty weapon, right? You get a shield with a bunch of javelins stuck in it. Maybe you put something on the on the pommel. Little blades you can stab people with. Ooh, that was a bad block. There we go. One more, I think. I'm really glad we took that bash. The bash... Uh, I didn't realize the bash actually takes posture. Oh, maybe it doesn't. I just watched that one. I don't know why that guy fell down then. And we hit 175 athletics, so that was pretty good. That was worth it. We got some armor. We got some good XP out of it. Oh, and we hit 125 perk on our uh, shield. So we'll take blocking in the wrong direction. And this one is going to be endurance for sure. So healthy citizen gives plus one endurance. So we back out of that and come back and we see it at nine. Next one we're going to get is from smithing. Assuming we can ever level up our smithing. It, this is going really slow. So the armor is actually an upgrade for us and, and by quite a bit. So we pick up 10 body, 10 leg and lose... 10 arm, 10 arm. So net positive uh, plus 10 armor. And I do like the look of it. I mean, this sash doesn't really look Sturgeon, but the chainmail does. I, I don't mind the chainmail at all. Huge fan of chainmail. All right, upgrades all the way down the line, and we'll be left over with, yeah, the Eastern leather lamellar. So that'll be good for the next person we have. So we've got same thing shield, helmet, and body. Well, and a mace, technically. Let's save the mace. And there's two here we can clear out. Let's start with the bigger one at Waterfront. Interesting that there's three here this time. I think it's, what was it, seven or eight people? So that's fine. That'll even out the numbers a little bit. All right, they're both focused on, on us, so that's good. Ooh. Okay, we got a level up. Let's do that first. All right, Helga hit four. We'll put the final point into intelligence, so that'll help with her medicine. And we'll put the final point into one-handed. And then we'll do the same thing. We'll, we'll boost up her athletics. She needs a bit more ways to go because she had to divert a lot of her points down into medicine. But she'll catch up. Especially with medicine. <clears throat> that's one of those things that's given her passive XP. So she'll probably catch up to these everybody else. Yeah, six. We shouldn't have a problem here. All right, let's get these guys tight. A little tighter, tighter packed. And we'll hang out on the, on the flanks in case somebody decides to try and flank. He tried to flank our guy. Now, I noticed they do hit each other's shields quite a bit. So maybe maybe shield wall isn't the right move. Maybe we can leave them in, in regular formation. Now I know somebody was really close to getting a level. Let's see if they did it. Yeah, Bjorn. Okay, final point in athletics. That puts him at 156. And we'll go back streets this time. All right, here we go. Finally found him. <laughs> it's just so easy for him now. It'd be interesting to go back and watch what he was doing at, uh, you know, 20 or 30 skill, whatever it was. I'm going to leave him in regular formation this time. Let's see how well they handle it. Oh, they, they're they a little bit more aggressive. Oh, they don't defend at all. Okay, that's not a good idea. We just lost two people. Yeah, so I think... It's acceptable that they bounce attacks off of their shields to not lose people. That was that was really bad. Well, at least we know. Shield wall is definitely the best way to fight. Uh, fortunately, nobody died, though, so that's fine. Let's sell some of this stuff off. Let's, before I go into the trade, let's just double check. So we do get upgraded boots. And you know what? It's really hard to find arm guards. So even though these ones are really crappy, we're, we'll save them. And we have quite a bit of crude. It's, it's really heavy. And we're, we're kind of running into that problem here. So let's let's go ahead and buy a bit of hardwood and, and we'll refine it down. Or refine it up, rather. 
Wait, so all that costs us 10 hours. We did convert almost all of our crude, and we've got quite a bit of wrought iron now, so that, that's fine. I don't mind that too much. Off we go. Would love to find some bandit hideouts. Usually asteroid territory is, is really good. All right, who gained a level? No level, but two-handed. Oh, interesting. So he got enough passive XP to level this up. Interesting. We'll give him the woodchopper. Eventually, I think we'll have most of our guys doing this with the two-handed and stuff. So, But I think for now, just based on what we need, we got to focus on one-handed athletics and then probably pull arm and riding for a little bit. And then once we move into the late game, we can pretty much do whatever we want. You know what I'm going to try and do? Let's try and get a charge along the length of their line so we can hit as many people as we can. No, that didn't work. <laughs> we stabbed somebody for 400 almost, though. All right, here we go. Three people. Man, look how much charge damage that is. 62 and 55. That is insane. All right, we're coming in with this guy. We're coming in hot. Oh, there's... Two different angles. Oh, there we go. Okay, you guys were a little disappointing there. <laughs> I was hoping for a big finale, but it was more like a fizzle. Right, we killed three people. Wow, so two two got charged. One person got a uh, couch lance to the face. And this guy's about to get two-handed mace to the back of the head. Man, that's got to hurt. I got four prisoners out of that. Ooh, nice. We got a balanced Calradic mace. That mace sounds really good. Yeah, so we actually got the upgrade on the mace. That's a very expensive one, 3,700. Although that might be because that's what we got it off. Yeah, it goes down. I was going to say, when you take loot off of a battle, the, the value you see is usually off by a factor of two to three. So notice how now it's only 1,300. So that was a little bit of a little bit of a gotcha, but that's fine. And let's swap this out. We're going to keep this Eastern Heavy Mace. Yeah, nobody else can take that as an upgrade. I guess everybody's got really good maces already. I feel like this is a better mace. Why do you not want to swap that out? We're going to manually swap it out. Yeah, this is just objectively a better mace. Yeah, these are roughly the same. Same length. No, 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 different length. Yeah, we'll keep the longer mace. We'll probably just sell this one. Sweet. And they do have a tournament here. Let's see what we can get. It's a helmet. I don't think we really need any more helmets. I'm kind of tired of doing tournaments. Let's see where we are in the leaderboard. Oh, well, <laughs> we just blew through the, the top. We're six ahead now, so we're getting plus one renown per day. Okay, well, it helps, but not, not that we need it because we're doing really well on renown. And they aren't paying much for the prisoners, so we'll hang on to them. And fortunately, they do have bounty hunters here, or a bounty hunter quest. So we'll take that. Yeah, the best part about that one is it shows you where the hideout is. It's, it's so annoying trying to look for a hideout sometimes, especially when you don't have a scout. I'm having issues with this hideout. I've, I've crashed three times in a row. I don't know if it's with this specific hideout or if it's Asurai or the desert bandits in general. So let's go on the search for a different desert bandit hideout and see if it does the same thing. Uh, be pretty disappointed if that's the case because these are usually the easier ones to find. But, uh, well, I say that and then I can't find one, so... Uh, we're going to let that quest time out, unfortunately. Because either way, it's bugged. I literally tried, I don't know, four or five times. So, ooh, let's check what tournament prize you got. Yeah, another helmet. We don't want to... We don't think we need another helmet. I don't even see any desert bandits. I have no clue where these guys are hiding. Maybe they're bugged. Yeah, it could be bugged with the mod. Because usually they're just completely crawling all over the place. Uh, I mean that's that's not the right, not the right kind. It's just the uh, the looter bandits. Yeah, but you won't see me turn down an opportunity to bull down some bandits. <laughs> bull them down. And I'm not seeing any pole arms here, so I think we should be in the clear. Ooh, I think I hit the la the ground with the couch lance. That's one thing about this one. It's so long. You got to be careful where you aim it. Maybe you keep it a little higher and then you drop it down the last second. 
right, that's all the archers. Just a couple infantry left. This guy's got the armor. Oh, okay, they, they do have a full arm. Okay, okay, they got a full arm. Get out of here. <laughs> we gotta target that guy first. All right, we got a good hit on him, and I think he took charge damage, because I, I, I believe he went down there. Man, it's so much fun doing this. I can't wait to see what it looks like in an actual battle. You know, 100, 200 people on each side. But we took a pretty good hit there. And we're going to take another one. Alright, we got to get on foot for this one. Oh, skull crack. Yeah, not much to look at these. We are going to get some prisoners out of it, though. Ten unbalanced clubs, so that sucks. But I think I think you still get the same crafting materials, though, even if it's a, a bad one. Let's wait a little bit, see what the tournament prize is. Brass Lamellar. I think that's an actual chess piece, which, if that's the case, we really do want. Oh, yeah. In the last armor we had was 70. This is 72. I think it might be giving up a bit too much leg armor for us. So it'll it'll go to one of the companions most likely, but this is a good one if we can get it. All right, let's get some thrust action in here. Maybe thrust to the face? No, that was to the head. We gotta get to the face though. I, I don't know if it's RNG, because I was definitely aimed at the face. Yeah, sometimes you'll get. You'll hit him for like 20 damage or 5 damage, and then you get a face hit for like 200. <laughs> it's so crazy. There's like no middle ground. I, I can't. I can't aim my thrust for some reason. Take out yellow. We're automatically through the next one, no matter what happens now. Let's get some shield bashes. Yeah, it doesn't look like Thrust is really doing much damage, so... Ooh, okay, that was... Yeah, that was a face hit. That's exactly what I was talking about. It did hit him for 200 damage. Everything else is like... 12... 15... Nice. <laughs> Five damage. Okay, I think the biggest damage is just the extra weight you take on when you get hit with one of these things. There we go, finally. Man, that's taking a little while. Oh, okay, that was that was really bad. We took a big hit there. I think that was because we got hit in the face. Right, let's uh, take it a little more serious now. Just try and drain some of this guy's posture real quick. Right, almost down. I think we got him. Nice. Okay, we got that one. Yeah, we took a pretty nasty hit there. I think it was to the face. Well, eight damage isn't that bad. Ooh, yeah, face hit for 199. All right, we got the armor. It is an actual upgrade for us. Interesting. Uh, let's double check that just to make sure, because that seems off. Okay, so it gives up six leg armor but you get 10 arm armor yeah that's for sure that's worth it okay makes sense and it doesn't look too bad uh it's it, i wouldn't say it looks too viking but yeah whatever we just want to be a chad that's all and we'll upgrade all the way down the line and what are we left with so we're left with the loose highland and the eastern leather lamellar we could keep both it is difficult to come across armor or we could just keep the better one yeah, let's do that. I kind of hard. We're we're running low on space. 
All right, Trader doesn't have money. I did not realize that. I just spent all that time. <laughs> oh, I hate when I do that. I should have looked. I guess the question is, is there anything we can buy that's worth having? I guess we could look at upgrading a horse. But it's going to cost us. So more maneuver, more charge damage. Probably can't go wrong with that. You only lose five speed. But it's going to cost us a pretty penny. I don't think it's really worth it. Okay, so change of plans. We'll just hang on to that. And we'll sell this stuff. Don't really have much else to sell. Oh yeah, we do. Nice, that'll work. And we will attack the clearing. They've got eight people here, so... Let's help our, our dude out a little bit. Oh, we took a good hit. All right, he's all yours. Come on, Ragnvald, you can do it. Oh, we faked him out. Faked him with the thrust and smashed his head. Yeah, six, we can handle that. Let's see if we got upgrades. Oh, only the two-handed. Interesting. So everybody's starting to get the two-handed now. Yeah, Trigva is very close to that as well. All right, shield wall again, because we all know what happens when we don't. See how well you boys handle it. Don't get flanked. There we go. We'll help a little bit. We'll give him a kick. Oh, look at this guy with his puny little sword. Shaking in his boots. <laughs> Eats a sword to the mouth. Nice. Everybody did pretty well. 2-2, two, 1-1. Two, one, one. And we got some upgrades here. Actually, some body armor on the uh, civilian side. Yeah, and Trigva was really close. It looks like he did actually level up. Let's go ahead and put the last point into athletics. So that puts him at 156. And off we go. Oh, it looks like there's a siege going on here. How big are the sieges, though? 350 versus 300 defenders. Wow, brave. They, they might... You know what, though? With this mod, it's hard to tell. It's not like vanilla where the, the numbers mean the same thing. If you have a bunch of high tier, you can take on many times your size. Uh, easier anyways. You know, in the base game you could do it, but you, you gotta cheese it with a bunch of archers and stuff like that. But in, th in this mod, you could definitely get away with it if you've got really good um, high tier units. Rebel gang moving in. I don't think they're gonna let us do that still. M maybe if we have high enough levels. I don't know if it's number or power. Okay, interesting. So it is power, it's not level. So because of our, our uh, companions leveled up a little bit more, We'll be able to do it again. So he only wants us to wait four days. Yeah, four days. So we can hang out here for a few days. Waterfront, Backstreet. We can do those two. That's two days that'll chew up. Oh, we got a tournament here. Let's see what they need. Now it's a helmet. Again, we don't really want the helmets. Yeah, we're so far ahead on the victories. <laughs> we're not in, in danger any anytime soon of, of losing the top spot. So, all right, let's, before we do any trading, let's go ahead and get rid of uh, I think we'll do Backstreet first. It's got the biggest one. Love the scenes in this on this specific map. It's really cool. They got a nice port. Ships are docked, and if I'm not mistaken, these are our people's ships. Those, those look like Viking boats. I could be wrong, but they look like shallow. Yeah, they're very shallow depth. Kind of look like a long boat. All right, boys. End of the line for you. Oh, oh, good block. You got there in time. Okay, I gotta watch that again, but it looked like he swung at this guy, missed, and hit the other guy in the face and killed him, and then killed the other guy when he got up. That was hilarious. Oh man, that was like some Three Stooges stuff. Alright, let's see. Oh, he's going for flank. Nope, you're not gonna get a flank off. Alright, somebody took a hit in here. It didn't sound like a bad one. Oh, yeah, we're losing guys. Okay. He's getting two time. We'll distract him, they'll get the kill. Luckily, he didn't die. Okay, good. It was Ragnvald. That could have been bad. Oh, we failed the mission because we... Because <laughs> we fought... I guess we fought their their people. I didn't, I didn't realize that was a thing. Okay, so we gave up that mission. That sucks. Wait, yeah, can we get a better price? No, not on our prisoners here. So we gotta go somewhere else. Uh, let's go ahead and fight Waterfront. Now, interesting, because Ragnvald was injured, Bjorn is here now, so this will be a good chance for him to level up a bit. I have Adam, I'll get this guy distracted. Oh, 
Yeah, we should heal up by then, I think. We've got a pretty good surgeon now. Yeah, three on five, no problem. Oh man, they just completely whack these guys. That's crazy. All right, Ragnvald did gain... Oh, he's at 160. He's actually making pretty good progress. It's a little better than I thought it would be. I thought it was going to pretty much completely stop once you get past that 150. But very happy to see that's not the case. All right, so that's it for this place. We're not going to do much else there, I think. Uh, let's start heading back. So let's go to Jalmatis. All right, gang needs recruits. I guess we could. We do have some prisoners. And they're all ready to convert. How many do you need? I don't see a number... Let's convert them all. All right, and we can get rid of eight of them. What does that give us? 2,800. That's pretty good. We would have probably gotten at most 900, eight or 900 for that. So that's that's a pretty big increase. We take a little bit of a hit to our morale, which is pointless for companions for the most part, especially at this small scale. And we could fight the back street. There's only four there. I have at him. Oh, no, 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 no. I thought he was going for us, but he was not. Okay, what is going on here? <laughs> he took like five hits. These guys took several hits. Uh, that was really strange. He looked like he was swinging at us, and then he just swung behind us somehow and hit our hit our companion. That's fine. He's back up on his feet already. Uh, we have other people with us this time for some reason. I don't know who these people are. Uh, Toxotes. So those are archers. They're, they're not ours. Or maybe they are and we just didn't give all of our guys up. Let's take a look. I thought we converted everybody over on that mission, but let's see. No, we still have two. Okay. Well, we cheated. <laughs> they weren't supposed to be in our party yet. And we're starting to get a little bit of a stockpile again on, on the weapons. I think we should do more. I think we should do a few more, though. And let's check the tavern. Uh, look. Oh, nice. So we can pick up our scout here. So Magnus Thorkildsen. He's got desires to be a berserker. A two-handed axe. Got to learn, got to go through your paces, though. Coming to us with scouting skill more than anything else. Oh, where's your beard? All right, we got to grow a beard out here. Hold on. Yeah, he has a beard. I don't know why. That was kind of weird. It gave us a different model for this guy. But anyways, let's take a look at his character stats. So he's got one in all the important skills, and then five in scouting, and obviously he's, he's going to be our party scout. So let's go ahead and get him hooked up. Scout is going to be Magnus Thorkildsen. And someday you'll probably get a two-handed axe. We gotta get there first. Also need to earn the nicknames, so hopefully hopefully we can get that wolf head helmet for him at some point. Now outfitting wise, let's go ahead and get him hooked up. So it gives him yeah, pretty much everything we were saving up, so that's good. That'll free up some space. Also the helmet and also the morning star, I think is the one we're gonna give him, right? Yeah, that's the, the strong one. And also he needs a pole arm. Yeah, we'll just buy a cheapo and throwing, we'll just give him the pine throwing darts, like I said, just so that he's not the first one in. Oh, what do you want to give him? You wanna give him unbalanced mace. Okay, well, I guess that's what you're getting. And then same thing here. You're not having a donkey, we'll lock that. No upgrades here, so oh, that's right, because we sold almost everything. So we'll have to get him. We'll have to get him some stuff to use. And there's also, uh, yeah, yeah, there's no small shield for him. So we got to be careful with him in the civilian settings. Nice. So we have a scout finally. That's going to make a big difference. It gives us a bit of movement speed as well. All right, so let's head on down. Let's just uh, keep making our way south. No tournaments. There's clearing of just one person. Probably not worth our time because it makes us wait a full day. If there was no time elapsed, it probably would be okay. Actually, he's got a mule. We don't want him to have a mule. Let's go ahead and give him a saddle horse. And they don't uh, <laughs> they don't sell saddles. So you got no saddle. How sad. Let's move on to the next one. Ooh, this is a pretty juicy stack. They're throwing their, polo their uh, javelins already, even though they're not remotely in range. I do see somebody in there with a pole arm. Let's try and pick him off first. Ooh, we had a good charge there. A lot of hits. We're going to have to go uphill on this one. Ooh, look at that. Man, that's a lot of damage. Alright, pole arm. This guy's got a pole arm. Ooh, no more pole arm for him. <laughs> 
And this guy's got something on his back. Maybe that's a throwing weapon then. He's not pulling it out. Which is good for us. But that thing is massive, man. That's like one of those, you know, anime weapons. <laughs> Alright, he's down. We can probably take the rest out on foot. Ooh, on the on the ground. You can do it. Oh, you can do it. Well. Stay down. That's it. So mounted combat is not the strong suit of the AI. They do a decent amount of damage with the charge, but they miss a lot of their shots. So I'm thinking for mounted, man, I wish I could take away their one-handed so they, they're forced to use the polearm. I gotta find a better way to do that. It would be nice if you can put a preference for what they use based on, you know, what they're doing. So any mounted combat, they would have to use the polearm first. And anything on foot, they would default to the other ones. I kind of wish kind of wish we could do that. I wish that was an option. All right, Magnus got some better shoulder. Good. Uh, ooh, a lot of people got upgrades on the civilian side. So let's keep moving. Four in the back street and ten in the waterfront, eleven in clearing. We could probably do this. We have six people now. I don't think there's going to be a shield for our, our, our guy, though. No, they don't have it here. Well, that's not a big deal. And Trigba did finally hit the two-handed. So that'll give him a little head start there. We got Woodchopper. And actually, he did pick up a final point into Athletics. So he's level 6. That's going to put him at uh, 156. Let's at least do the 4. I wish there was a way to get Magnus to fight with us first. I don't think we can, though. And one thing I also forgot to check, are we still getting passive medicine XP? We're kind of. We'll probably have to put a point into here if we want to get any meaningful progress. But it's still working. Same thing with Stuart. I don't know if we want to get a few points into here. We can at least get, you know, better workshops. And there's a few other perks in there that we might want that are labeled personal. So we'll see. We'll see. And then uh, Charm's the one that's got the cheaper, com or the, the better companion XP. Yeah, and level 100 has the cheaper companion wages so that one might be worth looking into although i don't know how they calculate it because if you look at the wages the the actual wages tied to their name aren't that big it's the base that makes up like more than half or well close to half if we take out the culture bonus interesting so i, I don't know how that works it'd be interesting to see and you know we did forget to choose lifestyle for some of these people so let's do just the obvious ones actually hexa is there anything we can use with her medicine skill no, it doesn't look like there's one that uses it. It's Stuart, Engineering, Tactics, Lordship, Leadership, Scouting, Trade. And Magnus is trying to be a cataphract. So increased renown from victories by 12% probably doesn't work. Non-cav units need 25 more XP to upgrade. That's probably not going to work. So what is a cataphract? Oh, it's not even on here. It's like a special one. Yeah, I don't even see it on here. Uh, it uses polearm and writing, which he'll have, but probably not in any meaningful you know, levels. Let's just do Gladiator. We're heading to the back street here. Let's go ahead and take these dudes out. Let's take this one out. He's all yours. Nice. All right, let's see if our newbie gets some XP here. Where is he? Oh, he's right in the front. Oh, that's not a good idea. Let's scoot you back. <laughs> all right, we can squeeze you in. You don't have a shield. Oh, there he goes. He's getting some hits. We'll push him forward. Oh, he got a kill. Get another one, get another one. Here, get this one. Push him forward. This is, uh, forced labor. <laughs> Swing at him. Oh my god, dude. Get in there and attack him. You're, like, facing the wrong direction. Yeah, he, you could tell he's got 30 skill in one-handed, because he has no clue what he's doing. <laughs> oh, do it, do it, do it. He's getting some hits. Oh, this is actually kind of funny. All right, you're facing the wrong... Don't stab me. I want you to do well. Oh, I don't think he did it. <laughs> he did get a kill, though. That was pretty good. Yeah, he did pretty good. And he actually leveled up already on his first first time. Wow. We got to do something for him. I think he, he deserves a name. Maybe something like First Blood. All right, let's go ahead and level up his one-handed. Because that was pretty pathetic. But, I mean, you tried. And you actually did a good job. But that'll do it for that town. I don't think there's a whole lot else we can do. The other gangs have, like, 20... Uh, we've got a tournament here and another helmet. Man, there's so many helmets. I kind of wish there was a little more variety. But we, I mean, I say that, but we've been getting pretty good loot drops. So I, I guess I can't complain too much. Uh, still don't see the shoulder shields. Yeah, they've got really... Oh man, look at the stock of this place. Does this... Maybe they have... 
Do they have a... Yeah, I was going to say they've, they've got a wood workshop, so that makes a lot of sense. You can tell right away. I think in the base game, you still can't really tell. This, this you can immediately tell. They just make so many things. Very cool. They don't have what we want, though, so that sucks. And if you thought Vlandia was, you know, the Butter Kingdom and Durthurt was the Butter Lord, think again, man. See, almost 70,000 butter at Lycaron. Now, we could spend some time smelting and stuff, but we have plenty of room. I would rather do it all at once. So let's uh, let's keep collecting some, some weapons here. Oh, interesting. Magnus joined us on this one. Doesn't have a shield, and we got to go up against three, so we're going to help him quite a bit here. All right, let's get in there. All right, here, you can have that one. All yours, Magnus. I, I wonder if switching him to the top made a difference. He didn't show up for the previous fight when he was at the top, but this time he did, so it's kind of interesting. Or maybe it's just RNG, who knows? All right, yeah, we'll keep him in the middle without a shield. That's fine. All right, we'll help thin the herd a little bit. Oh, nice. All right, you guys can finish the rest. Nice. All right, Magnus got some hits, but did not get a kill. Bjorn didn't get a kill either. Pretty good fight, though, for an even fight. It was pretty lopsided. Yeah, Magnus is getting really good upgrades here, especially on the uh, the civilian side. Imperial Sagittarius helmet, though. I, I am really curious what that looks like. We can we can just back out if it sucks. 100 armor. I mean, it's good, but that's fine. We'll forfeit. All right, let's keep heading west. Uh, sorry, east. Yeah, kind of, kind of don't want to do these little ones, you know, four or five. It's just kind of a waste of time. Ooh, there's a hideout here. Uh, I am going to save because it, for some reason, is crashing me a bunch with some other ones too. So let's let's do that. Let's see if if we can get this one to work. All right, we got six people total now. Yeah, it's a pretty impressive looking bunch. Even, even Magnus on the end, he doesn't have the best gear, but he still looks pretty imposing. We do, to, we do got to get these guys some circle shields, though. We should probably do that soon. Keep the look. All right, let's get after these guys. Oh, no, not a rock. All right, you guys can finish him off. All right, let's do that again. Let's flank. Oh, no, no time to flank. We're going in. This guy's going after it. Oh, there's a lot of guys over here. All right, they're all going to that one. That's fine. They can gang up on him. We'll distract these guys. And it looks like they're coming this way, so that's good. All right. Two down. Three down. Oh, he's got that expensive toga. That's why... <laughs> that's probably why you didn't win, man. You got that crappy toga that's got four armor. All right, that should be easy win for them. Let's pull up the mace. So we're doing mostly close quarters. And man, 60 damage for one-handed is really good. Oh no, Helga got slapped. Oh man. She got hit in the head, I think. All right, we're taking some hits from the back here. All right, so one went down. Looks like we took hits from somebody else. Kind of want to use the two-handed mace here. So we'll switch it out real quick. Ooh, you should probably put your shield up, Ben. <laughs> I don't think you can take too many of those. Man, there's so much power when you swing this thing. You can just tell. You can feel it. Oh, we went down on that. <laughs> nice. Handle hit, 41 damage. Doesn't matter, we still blasted him out of here. So six for now, and we got a few prisoners. Oh, we actually got a lot of prisoners. I don't think we can keep them all. Yeah, we have too many. Man, that sucks. You know, let's take them. And then we'll very quickly get rid of them. And let's not go over Bert. Ah, whatever. It's only a tiny amount, actually. It'll probably slow us down. Oh, 0.1. Yeah, we don't want that. Ooh, we got beer. We didn't have that before. So let's get rid of some of the oranges and apples. Yeah, that'll work. And we'll very quickly go to Onira. We can drop them off before they all escape. How many still have left? Nope, they all escaped. <laughs> yeah, 1625, so we're still making good money off of that. 
And as far as gear goes, uh, looks like Magnus is still getting upgrades here. Same thing on the civilian side. So he's he's going to be looking pretty good soon. Yeah, he's almost there. We do pretty badly need that uh, that small shield that goes on the civilian side. So we should probably look for that. Oh, and I keep forgetting. Yeah, he needs he needs a saddle, but not a three thousand dinar saddle. Let's uh, we'll pass on that. And this tournament's got a light length length da. Lancea? Lance, Lancea? I don't know how to pronounce that, but should have... Oh, it's a throwing. Interesting. Yeah, we'll take that, because we've got some people that use throwing, and I think having better equipment should probably help them a bit. Oh, or not. We just get hit in the face. <laughs> well, there goes that. Wow, that was unfortunate. So a helmet with a face shield would be pretty nice right now. All right, we got all the way east, and looks like we can get another helmet if we wanted to. Yeah, again, I think we're going to pass. We're not really making money from it, and we don't need the Renown necessarily. I think we're doing pretty good on Renown. Yeah, I don't mind doing an 8. Let's do the back street. I forgot to check and see if they have the shoulder ones. It looks like they do, so let's go ahead and give, let's give Magnus the shoulder one. This town's a maze, man. That took me like two minutes to figure out how to get here. All right, let's... Take out these thugs. We'll help him with one. Oh, you can handle that guy. Hopefully. And then we'll interrupt this guy. Oh, nice. Nice. Two kills for Magnus. Ooh, six on six in a... In a uh, thunderstorm. Pouring rain. But we've got... We've got the five shields. I think we'll be alright. Magnus in the middle. It looks like he got a good hit in there. Night. Everybody's just tearing it up. Yeah. The slow march. Oh. Good hits. Uh, actually, Magnus did get a hit, but basically didn't get any last hits. Rigva, once again, I don't know why he keeps getting all these, these kills. I don't know if it's luck. But that should be an upgrade for somebody. Yeah, that upgraded is his club and better body armor 